<laughs> Holy cow, man. Good morning and welcome to Professional Photographers of Idaho. This is our PPI Live. And I'm back after a while. The, the last time I was on was January 10th. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while welcome for me. Back. Welcome back. And wow. uh, thanks, yeah. Larry. Um, <laughs> you've covered for me. Sam's covered. Mm -hmm. um, you guys really picked it up and ran with it. Did a great job. Well, I had, I had struggles. We have so I went from zero. <laughs> we have struggles. Like this is this is a complex. This yeah. is this is a. I, I went from knowing a little bit. I'm, I wasn't at zero. I was at one. Right. Okay. And I went from there to whoosh, like in. Yeah, like here we are. Yeah. So thank you for putting up with the lighting difficulties and all the crap that I went through because uh, now I have a much better grasp on things. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> he makes it look easy. He makes it look easy. Look easy. Um, we've got a handful of viewers already. Good. And um, I'm going to ask. So, as usual, I'm trying some new things today. Which See, I really I was, shouldn't. I was trying new things every which, every time. Which I really shouldn't do when I haven't touched the stuff for I know, two months. I know. Um, it's bad when you go in on Friday morning. So I, I work out. I come home. I get, grab a shower. I go into the my office you're like, on Friday morning, and what's I got that thing and I'm like. <laughs> I need a graphic. That's a, <laughs> that's bad, folks. You know, don't do that. Um, so <clears throat> I do uh, some of my own graphics. The graphics that you see, the push titles and things like that, I do. Uh, but a lot of the graphics you're going to see today, um, I reached out to Jennifer Alvey, our president, and um, said, hey, I need graphics for this, 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 and this. She's been working her butt and off. And she pours on, yeah. those graphics yeah, at me. Yeah. And so you're going to see a lot of that today. We have so much great stuff to cover, but here's what I wanted to say. I don't know who you are viewing and I would love to see your comments come up in the chat. And if all goes well, <laughs> we might even be able to see those comments come we, into the feed. So, but today we can, I can actually see the comments. So my, one of my problems is not having the comments pop up on OSB or OBS, which is kind of not intuitive to do anyway. Yeah. So, well, that was with because it, you this, had made for kids set on. That's, oh, that's and there's what it was. no okay. chat when it's made. For so kids. see, don't put made for kids on. <laughs> see, there's little tricks. To this. This is just yeah. a learning curve, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? There's it's just, just a learning curve. Just anyway, a welcome back, curve. Bob Ryder, and and yeah, we have a ton of stuff to talk to uh, talk about today. All of it 
you have heard before. I mean, this isn't nothing here is new. Um, I, I have a little bit. You for them that might be new. Oh, good. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna say my son is offset, and you're really distracting. Hi. So if you want to come get love, come get love. <laughs> come on. No. No. All right then. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Um, so all of a this, sudden there was a little Superman. This fancy or office is actually not a fancy office. Um, well, my fancy office was a is basically a bedroom. Converted. This, this was a garage. This so. a, well, you know what? You're a step up. So um, you have more working. We, we have <clears throat> some neat ideas that I'm excited to share with you. Okay. Uh, offline. Okay. Offline. Cool. Um, so, so I, normally our format is we spend about the first min, ten minutes, uh, ten or twelve minutes doing announcements. I think that's going to take us probably the first twenty five minutes today. At least. Yep. And I want to get through that, and then we have um, this great topic. And let me pull that title screen up for us. And just throw that up for a second. We're going to talk about push and the concept with push. And we're going to get to this later. I'm hoping that by 11.30 we can come over to this topic, spend 10 minutes with it. It doesn't need a lot of time. But the idea is that not all closed doors are locked. Sometimes they need uh, a push to open them. And um, so I'm excited about this topic. And when we were chatting earlier in the week about what topics mm -hmm. to do, something had just happened. Mm -hmm. uh, with one of my clients that made this topic really relevant. I'm like, can we, do you mind if we do this topic because... He pushed it on me. <laughs> Get uh, it. I, I, I foisted it upon him. I did. <laughs> you pushed uh, it on Oh it. my gosh, we've got people here. So check this out. We're going to try something new and different. But for actually... Oh, Laquita and Kim. Yeah, check it out. So hold on, i got to come back here. Oh. Shut that off and that off. Here we go. And now we're going to try something new. So let's see... Uh, I have to turn this on too. Yeah, there you go. My wife says, good morning, guys. Laquita, happy Friday, guys. Oh, Lori did a great job. Thanks, Laquita. Great job. That's awesome. I can't yeah. see the little part that's underneath I, the label. I can't. I have to yeah. shut that off. Well, it's okay. Um, and then Kim Minter is here again. Uh, great seeing you together again. You know what? Yeah. It's just damn good to be back with you. Well, we had a and little... And we are not made for kids, so I can say damn yeah. good to that's see right. you. That's right. That's right. Well, we had a little... Uh, uh, Get together last Friday. <laughs> we did. It was kind of fun. We what, did we did a run out to Nampa. We, well, we ran to a taco truck. Oh, let's. My favorite taco some, truck we, is out in Nampa on we, Kings. We had some stuff to do in Nampa at the storage. Like, yeah, at the like storage. Legitimate shed. business. So we turned it into a taco run. Because the taco truck is a block from the shed. It's not. It's probably five hundred feet from yeah. the shed. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, and I'm so thankful for that. Oh, it was awesome. The food was, was good. Yeah, food. you had a breakfast burrito. I did. So I don't eat breakfast. Uh, and so the breakfast burrito was called my name. And then I was full until way after dinner. I was like, <laughs> that thing was huge. So awesome, awesome meal and good company. So we had a mini reunion last Friday. So yeah. Yeah, it was good. Actually, it was yeah. one of my first outings. He wouldn't so. let me when he's sitting in his wheelchair. He wouldn't let me roll him down the hill unaided. So I was, I was just going to take the locks off the wheels. I was going to lay a little foundation before you mentioned the wheelchair. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. For those of you that don't know, I've had, I've had spine surgery and, uh, and it wasn't like, Hey, let's, let's plan this spine surgery for X, Y, Z. This was, um, you, that's I, an understatement. <laughs> this was code three ambulance emergency yeah. surgery kind of an event. And, um, so I'm walking and standing, but on my own terms and my own turf. Out in public, I'm mostly it's, in the wheelchair. It's, uh, well, it's a process, right? It's a process. You're just gonna go, he's going through a process of getting his wheels back underneath him for for longer than 15, 20 minutes at a time. So yeah. that's okay. Yeah. I, uh, better him doing that and be ambulatory than not. Right, so that's I good. feel the same yeah. way. I feel that way. Um, so, uh, did I say ambulatory? I you did. said ambulatory, you okay, just good. laid that right I, out there. I, I threw the uh, thing. So I'm just anxious for more people to comment so that I can keep sharing them on the stream. This is brand new. I've been working on this technology since December. He has <laughs> the good technology. I have the crap technology. Actually, you know, OBS isn't oh, bad for what OBS. it does. I but, used OBS for well over a year. But and it has limitations. Well, I'll tell you an interesting thing. They don't need to know this, but I'm going to tell you right now because we're here. Um, this is just how this is how our conversations yeah. go. OBS in tandem with this can do some really interesting things. I bet that's things. killer. As yeah. a way to feed inputs into this, the OBS can do some really interesting okay. things. Okay. Right. Um, I have found that, um, all right, so there's nothing new there. I'm going to come back to the rundown, and I'm going to kill this, I think. Yep, I did. And then um, 
let's come back to um, the first thing that I want to yeah. talk about. Yeah, me right? too. The first thing I want to talk about, and because this is in my wheelhouse, is our Idaho Fellow of Photography. And um, this has been a little bit of a sleeper program for the last, wow, six or seven years now. Um, but historically, this has been um, a very well-regarded program where you get a, a degree through Professional Photographers of Idaho. And it's called Idaho Fellow of Photography, and we have three different classes for that. We have an Idaho Fellow of Service. We have an Idaho Fellow of Photography, which is kind of our master class. And then we have an Idaho Fellow of Education. And um, this program is alive and well. Mm -hmm. Um, we, uh, Sherry Barron was kind enough, I'm going to come back. Sherry Barron was kind enough to, um, to put in all of the print competition information from last year. Oh, awesome. So okay. those points have been calculated and tabulated in the IFP system. And um, so this is my plea to those of you that are watching. I need to know what you did in 2021. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there's a whole lot of things that qualify for what you did. Right. If you went to um, fall retreat, in, fall retreat. If you went to convention, if you went to mini sessions. Yeah, and I'll take and, and it can come all the way up to to now. Uh, so we'll take Imaging USA and any of the things that you've done. Oh, if you've taken workshops uh, along the way throughout this last year, um, we'll look at them. And if it's a bona fide. So so you're you're kind of asking yourself right now, well. What, where's the list, right? So I'm going to tell you because I fixed it yesterday. <laughs> so that's good. Excellent. So we we're, that, that's techno mumbo jumbo. I won't even get into what I was going to say, but I'm going to tell you this. So if you go up to member, if you log into PPI, we Hard. have a lot of techno yeah. mumbo jumbo. <laughs> that's, our, usually, that's our language of love. Usually I eat it with spaghetti sauce. <laughs> um, if you go to the member, if you log into ppofido.com, go to the member. The, up at the top, kind of at the top, below the banner, it says home, events, yada, yada, yada. Yep. One of those things says member benefits. Click on that, little drop down comes out, and it says fellowship. Idaho Fellowship, I believe is what it's called. Click on that, and then there's two boxes, two things you can select. The first one on the very top is the, the, the stuff. It's the who The stuff you can use to qualify for your yeah. whatever one of these it's, three degrees. It's a, it's a. It's just a list of things that qualify, right. basically, and how they and how that you can earn merits. Right. And you're going to be surprised. Right. So number two is a is a downloadable PDF form, and you can download that thing and then fill it in on your computer. You can even use I think there's DocuSign on it, so I know I did it yesterday just to test it. So I did that, signed it. I got it. And you got it. I did. And you can send it to two places. You can send it right to Bob. Hello at BobRider.com mm -hmm. or you can send it to ppofidaho at gmail.com and I will forward it promptly on to bobwriter.com. So yeah. they, they both got to go to Bob, so you might as well just go ahead and send it to Bob at the, to start with. Yeah, hello at bobwriter.com. Yeah. So documentation, how do you get documentation? Well, if you, you just, all you got to do is say, I attended a convention in 2021, yep. I attended, I did the fall retreat. Most did, things are easily documentable. Yeah, I don't yeah. need you to send me. No, um, we don't need a receipt or anything. Yeah, yeah. I, and I don't, you know, this isn't go find somebody to seal it, you know, all those kinds of things. Um, first of all, the program is built on trust. And, right. and second of all, most of us know what photo opportunities, what education opportunities are in the wild out there. And if, and if you attended one of those, it's likely that we're going to be like, oh, wow, I wish I had gone to that. Yeah. Right? That's really the deal. Um, so let's, I'm going to come back here, I think. Let's see how this works out. Yep. Oh, that works. Even the lower thirds went away. That was very cool. <laughs> um, so I'm. this is my plea. Um, I have about a week before convention to get all these tabulated and get the awards ready. Um, so please, if you, have, if you have something, I know that there are a handful. I know specifically there are two people that qualify for awards. And um, they qualified for awards last year. Didn't and we try. had a conversation about, I'm not going to present an award to you to have you present an award to me and nobody else gets an award. So we decided to wait on that. And um, I, I want to bestow this Idaho Fellow <clears throat> on folks who have taken the time to take the education or serve the organization 
or to excel in print competition, and those are the requirements, folks, for these different awards, okay, these different degrees. And there's a lot of, like Bob said, there's a lot of different things that we use to uh, look at that sheet. Just go out there. Look, look, you're going to be surprised see. at see. what's yeah. going to get you points yeah. towards your fellowship. And, and I would bet if you've been at this for a couple of years, you're either, you either have one of these or you're darn close. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so let's do that. And then my intention is, and I said this last year at convention, um, my intention is, is that we honor new recipients of this all year long through these Friday lives. That if somebody earns an award mid-year, that we're going to champion that, they'll still get recognized at convention. Might even have them on. Might even have them on the show. Yeah, yeah. That might terrify them. Well, that's okay, true. Well, we don't want to do that. It terrifies me. So um, I'm going to come back. I've got to do a thing here. Okay. So, Kim, give me just a second. I'm going to bring your comment live. All right, let's come over here. Social, social, and uh, let's see. Her question is, let's turn that on. So my astrophotography... Uh, took through RMSP counts. Yes, if you're taking professional education, so this is the other part of her, her program, it's a six-week class through Zoom, okay? Like I said, there has to be a fair amount of trust involved in these programs. I, I can't guarantee that you set through every class, every minute of every class, but I'm going to honor that because... because Well, it's Kim. Well, it's Kim, but but on top I mean, of that... That's what, that but, would be the question. But listen... Uh, <laughs> In reality, there's a lot of really good content. Oh. Okay, I'm not talking about free YouTube stuff. Right. I'm talking about you get into a program, you get into a workshop, you're with an instructor who's got a syllabus, who's teaching a program. A lot of the, a lot and of you're our learning stuff. A lot of our instructors, a lot of the the PPI members, Dennis, uh, Phil, yeah. uh, Mike Collins, all uh, and Sam. There's a bunch of them. So they all have uh, Sherry. They uh, they all have programs that they give all over the place yeah. and those count so yeah, yeah. so so tell anyway, us. take a look or tell go him. to the website and check it out and then um just tabulate that up for me and send it to me hello at bobrider.com there's no need to pass that through larry to get to me when you can just send it to me and there just isn't a lot of time so please get that information to me i'm going to say i need a deadline of by the end of this coming week Oh, yeah, easy. Yeah, well, I, that's yeah. just for my own sanity. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm working at about 60% threshold right now. Um, <laughs> which is every, way... Everything I do uh, post-surgery right now takes a tremendous amount of effort. Which so. is way way better than even when I signed the first time post-surgery. So. <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, so All right. I'm going to come back, and let's turn that off. Let's come back over here. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about this is... Freaking huge. Yeah. Okay. You ready to talk about this? No, I, I, I'm good to go. Here we go. I can't. Guys, this this thing right here is kind of a no-brainer. If you're, By the way, if you're going to attend Lindsay's class, that's part of your fellowship stuff. It is. But this is. It's an, also a PPA merited class. It is. Class, yeah. So you get which a, helps you towards your PPA degrees. Right. So I'm so close. <laughs> you are. It's a no-brainer. This is, you know, if you're a member of PPI, this is a hundred dollars to get Lindsay Adler all day. Oh my I, gosh! And I don't understand. I mean, we have the the registrations that have been successful. Don't get me wrong, but we should be able to fill this thing up. And I don't think we're going to be filling it up, which is a shame. So, and by filling it up, there are a hundred seats available. Yeah. Um, we have. We would sold, like to see 120 people vying for 100 seats. Exactly. And and for a hundred dollars. Come on! I mean, even if you <laughs> what the yeah, hell are you waiting for? And I'm not trying to I'm not trying to backdoor convention here because convention is important. I think you got to go to that too. Oh, we're gonna get to that. But next. if, but if you're gonna do if you can just you know I'm just gonna do one you know come and see Lindsay because that's huge. If we she's marvelous. A uh, this is worth a merit. That's B you're towards your PPA PPA and a toward degree a merits towards our. Uh, so IFP. I'm going to tell you this, and this is just super exciting to me. I'm finishing my photographic. I'm teaching a class in May. Yeah. And that's giving me my last speaking merit to my photographic craftsman degree. Nice. So I'm finishing that this summer. I'm super excited about that. Um, and you probably, if you've been on Facebook, you've probably seen my uh, my class advertisement floating around. It's going to be good. It's a one light workshop. I'm going to. I should have put a slide in for that. You should. It's a it's a one light workshop. I'm going to teach a dozen different portrait lighting techniques with one light. Awesome. And actually, there's thirteen. 
What, natural light? No light? No, no. It, I call it a dozen dark, techniques, but it's, infrared. A baker, it's a baker's dozen. Okay. Um, anyway, I've, I've taught this class. I've taught this workshop for years and years, um, probably six years now. And it's always well received. And the people, you know, the people that take my, this class uh, are usually the people who, who are, I bought a light or I bought a set of lights and I have no idea how, how to use them. Or, or I bought some lights and I have some basic idea of how to like set them up, but I, I don't know what to make with them. This is, the, this is that class, right? This is the class on how you're going to employ one light and, and, and make like good material out of it. Mm -hmm. All right, so enough with that. That's coming up in May. Lindsay Adler's <laughs> class is going to be one of my first merits towards my master's degree. Nice. Because I'm going to trade all my merits that I have for my craftsman degree. And that's going to be, anyway, I'm just, yeah. I got to yeah. get into, you know what I need to do? I need to get into print competition. <laughs> that's coming up. <laughs> We're coming up. We're going to talk yeah, about yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's bring up the next thing. This is, uh, so if you're not coming, so I'm paying for myself. And my non-photographer wife to attend Lindsay Adler's class. Yeah. I'm paying for myself. I, I'm not breaking. I want one. Bri to come, and she's excited um, because she's the artist in the family. My wife is the artist in the family. I'm my, the technician. I think you know. I think my wife would go, but she's working. So right, I get that. Bad, yeah. Um, but it's it's that important to me. Uh, how often do you get? I just don't. I just don't. The caliber I mean, we, of we should of, be getting run over by people. <laughs> people trying to get in. Trying the to get in. Yeah. <clears throat> and and they're coming in at a steady rate. I, I literally thought it would be full by now. Literally. I, I just oh, don't. I, this next week's going to go nuts for you. You're going to yeah. just be like, we, why did everybody wait till last yeah. minute? Because like, everybody always waits the last minute. Yeah. Probably. Right. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about, I'm going to put that up on the preview screen. This is our action screen. Ready? Yeah. I'm going to. What? What? Let's do like. Oh, here we go. Shreddy. That was cool. That was cool. All right. So our convention is... <laughs> I'm a nerd. Our convention is coming up April 6th. This is so close. And and not only that, but what a lineup of speakers we have this year. I mean, these guys are, are speakers at imaging. These are Th this world is renowned, yeah. world class speakers coming... Yeah. To teach in Idaho, we have one coming in through the hybrid mechanism. So this yep. is a hybrid convention, which means that we have folks that are registering for convention that are going to attend by watching remotely. And then what I discovered with last year's remote convention or hybrid convention is that we had folks that went on break and watched remotely mm -hmm. when they wanted to get out of the room. Yeah, I was like, wow, those yeah. six people watching were in this room a few minutes ago and yep. now they're sitting out in a lounge chair somewhere on the patio daddio and and watching conventions so listen this is our take action convention and this uh, action is that's my word for the year like without action nothing moves right? yeah yeah I, and you know i when bob was out i talked about you know just to get out Again, I'll say this again. What's the best camera that you have? The it's one that's with you. you. It doesn't matter if it's your cell phone. What you need to do is open up your mind and your eyes to creativity and what's out there yeah, and what can yeah. I shoot. Look at some of the, you know, I don't know how, all you probably know DeWitt Jones. Maybe some of you don't, but I follow him on um, Facebook. One of the few people that I really like on Facebook because he doesn't post any crap. But anyway, he, can I say that? You just said it. Okay. That's good. Anyway. It's our show. Yeah. <laughs> the guy is magnificent. And DeWitt Jones is old. I mean, what, gosh, how long has he been shooting? Uh, I don't know. It dates me, so that's bad. But anyway, uh, guy, the guy does incredible work on everyday, ordinary stuff. Now, it doesn't hurt that he lives in Hawaii. Okay. That, that, well, that, I mean, there's yeah. that. But I, when I was in downtown the other day, as a matter of fact, we... Down um, Boise. Boise. So, right. took my daughter to dinner because it was her birthday, mm. and uh, we went down to Thai restaurant. Yeah, Thai, my Thai. Yeah, awesome place. Uh, but anyway, I stopped and took several pictures with my cell phone. I mean, oh, I didn't I stop. I, I walked by, whip out the cell phone, 
you know, I'm, I'm and, always doing that. And what I'm doing is I'm not like I'm going to enter that in competition. No, I'm going to come back and photograph that. Yeah, or <laughs> or you're going to go back and say, you know, when you get home, mm-hmm. you're going you're look you, now you're going to analyze it, right? Yeah. You're going to say what what I like about this, what I didn't like sure. about it. Yeah, yeah. So sure. Anyway, get out and shoot. Take Please. action. Do, and if you don't shoot and you think you can just go do a session without shooting, you're it, without keeping it up over and over and over again. Oh my gosh. You're wrong. Yeah, so, no, these are perishable skills. Yeah, yeah. I was once I was once a fairly fluent Spanish speaker. Were you? Yeah. Really? Um, when I was working in law enforcement, I was getting ready to test for what they call 3%. So our native um, bilingual, like our native Spanish speakers, uh, where Spanish was their primary language, they would get a 5% bonus because they spoke multiple languages. Um, and then there was a, like a, a next level of fluency that was conversational. Um, and I was getting ready to test for that when I got injured and retired. Um, but <laughs> come on, man. I mean, there, my neighbors were Mexican and yeah. I, I could speak Spanish with my children's friends that they were playing with. And that was about my level. I know enough like Spanish. Like fifth to... grade level of, of, of English or Spanish. I know That's enough, where I was at. I know enough Spanish to understand what they're saying i can tell you i'm telling your car because you don't have a license (laughs) yeah yeah Um, listen there's there's some comments here um i i think kimberly fired up she's going to be doing it today and i think she's talking about the ifp right she's going to submit for ifp today and laquita (laughs) please do that class again later in the year so i can get time to go i need it as you know um laquita i'm going to offer this class again in fact the there's a fall session of this. So PPA, if you don't know this, PPA has been offering their super one-day workshops, <clears throat> pardon me, for many years. And I've been teaching them for many years. Um, and that's where all of my speaking credits have come from. Um, Didn't you get a speaking credit for convention? Yeah, I did. Year? Yeah, but, okay. but, but by and large, I've been teaching this program for a lot of years because I just love to teach. So I have a one light workshop and I have a multi light workshop, which is a great follow on to that. You can technically teach two workshops as an instructor. You can teach twice during each. They, they offer these twice a year, May and usually September. Um, Amy Peterson is offering a couple of classes. Alan Ansel is offering a couple yep. of classes. Um, I'm offering a class. Um, I may do one light and multi light back to back in the fall one week apart. Wow. Wow. So you can come in here, learn how to create a dozen different looks with one light, and then the next week come back and we build on that by adding a second, third, fourth, and fifth light. <clears throat> so back anyway. To back, back to convention. Back to, I'm sorry. We're not I just to... wanted to hit their comments because I can. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just want to have time. I to say, get ha, ha, ha. It. Well, it's 1125. We're good. All convention right. promo. That's back. We'll splash this up again. If you haven't registered for convention yet, this is coming right up. Um, the earlier you register for convention, the better off we are as organizers. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> um, l- less panic mm-hmm. about filling the room and covering the expenses and um, better well, ability to plan for the food and all of those things. So Name badges, everything. I mean, <laughs> you know, it, goes, it comes down to the minutia, right? So right. if you register the night before, your name badge might have your, not have your name printed on it. Unless it's with a sharpie, so that, yeah. you know that would get, that's the difference. That's how that works. Yeah. Right. Okay. So um, let's come back just to us for the camera for just a minute. I'm going to fire up the next promo. Let's talk about. So we've got Lindsay Adler on the sixth, and then image competition starts our con- convention on the seventh. On the seventh. And look at this lineup of judges. Okay. Look at the credentials of this lineup. Of judges, all right. Yeah, I always start out with jury chair Brian. You know, Welsh. I mean, and he was our chair last year. Chair he last did year, such a great, great job. job. We asked him back again this year. And then all the rest, I'm not going to read their names because you can see them on the screen. But you know, and once again, <clears throat> this competition is, is important to you for growth. Uh, it doesn't. It does. I am not an honors guy. I don't go out of my way to show medals. I don't go out of my way to show yeah, I ribbons. Get that. And that's not what this is. Back. This that's not necessarily what this is about. It's nice if you do. It's nice if you score well enough to get in the 80s, right? But 
But they're, they're not green. Either. Well, they're not green merits. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And, and uh, I haven't got there yet. So, uh, but it, but it's important. So, I submitted my images last year. Got shot down. There were some things I disagreed with the judges on, but there, there were more things that I agreed. With yeah, them on. seeing that. So, that's, so and, that's the that's the big deal. And really, just to get into that, the merit category. Yeah, you don't have to hit all of those things. Right. You, you just gotta, you have to hit some. So if you, I, if you I've talked to, about this before, I, I submitted an image of a female police officer who, uh, who I respect very much, and um, who's fighting a fight for her life right now with cancer. And I asked oh, if I, I could use her that. image in, in image competition, and all of her friends were shocked that she said yes, and I did. And the commentary that I got back, and I've talked about this, is that she looks boxy, and I'm like, she's, she's wearing, wearing a, vest. a ballistic vest, of, like. You expect her to look curvy? Yeah. She's wearing a bulletproof vest. Maybe if you've never worn a bulletproof vest or ballistic vest, bullet resistant vest, Kevlar, maybe if you've never strapped one of those over your torso and gone out in public for a day, you wouldn't understand. But um, you'll see a, they, you'll see a lot of guys and gals in law enforcement who hold their hand here. Get some air in there. And it's because, well, it, the vest rides up during throughout the course of the day, it rides up the torso. Um, anyway, she looked boxy. And oh, I'm all over my microphone here too. Just yeah. cranked on that. Sorry about that. You, that probably sounded horrible. But anyway, I. But I. Well, I, I'll, I'll do my own but example. But the answer to that was to crop in tighter and not show as much of the, the torso, enough. right? Yeah. yeah. So, and one of my one of the points that my critiquer gave to me. So I did a wine bottle thing, the same thing that everybody tries to do, right? And um, I lit the background from behind. I happened to have a product table. So uh -huh. there was a backdrop cloth on there, and I lit that uh, with a strobe from the back, okay? Well, I'm not exactly sure. I, I can't see it, actually, but my critiquer could. Said something about, now, I took great pains to put the hot spot behind the bottle. <laughs> so I know it wasn't off. But he couldn't. The gradient. There was something wrong with the gradient in there, okay. and he was, he was. His he his eye did not like the gradient. There you go. Okay, so I literally scored a seventy nine on that picture. So so that was, that's probably the point. That the, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but I, can I see it? No, but he could. So well, you know, how um, do you how do you do so, that? So we're in it. We're in an interesting place right now. Um, this is a little bit off topic, and yeah, we've got we'll probably, a couple more slides to get yeah, through. But yeah. I just want to—I want to mention—we're in a transitional phase right now, where traditionally it's been print competition, and mm -hmm. every judge sees the same print, print from the same distance, S sitting the in the same front. way, correct, with the same lighting. Yep. Right now, we're in image competition, where each judge is uh, judging your image based on the quality of their monitor, which. <laughs> by the way, exactly, and which, by the way, you people need to take advantage of, because it's a, it's far less expensive to get in the yeah, game. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say, but I was trying to say it uh, politically correct. Uh, when you have to print a case and you're printing six pictures, you're matting six and pictures. And it's not printing six pictures; it's printing like thirty because you're going right. to print it and be like, oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> well, let me put it again. Let me put it this way: you're putting six pictures together, in correct, a case, right. in a case. Then you have to buy the case. Then you got to ship the case. Then you got to ship the case back, and then you got to pay the inner. It gets spendy. Yeah, so, so this image competition that we got going on is this is going to get better and better as time goes on. Correct. I think this is the and new it, trend. Me too. I don't um, think I don't I don't it, know that it we're, is cost effective for organizations like ours, um, where we are uh, geographically dispersed. Uh, yeah, and we're a small state. I mean, we don't have the population mm -hmm. of. Some of the larger organizations do. Um, did I tell you, man? I'm so stoked about this. Um, John Tulipano is with uh, a, a, a local chapter of a local affiliate in Chicago, and I met. Oh him, yeah, yeah, yeah. I met him at, you, you're at going. Imaging, and my wife and I are going to see Gary Hughes. Nice. At the North Chicago, I don't know what their name is, but we're going in September to see Gary Hughes, who does what I do, but in Miami. Right? Bigger scale. I'm super stoked and we're going to stay with John and his wife and I'm just so excited for that whole time. That's what imaging really gave to me besides the sore back. 
<laughs> I don't think it was the, exactly imaging, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry back, right? Yeah. All right. So Image then. competition, enter. If you don't know where to go, you can go to ppofidaho.com. Go to the events tab thing that I just said to click on, yeah. and and it'll drop down. You'll see image competition, uh, or maybe, or yeah, you will. And then <laughs> if you just he's scroll, trying to visualize yeah. the website. If you Listen, just scroll down the front page, there's a. I've got an easier way. There's a box down there you can check to. I've go got to. an easier way. How's that? If you have questions about image competition, ask. Yeah. Anyone who's been in this game a little bit longer than you have. And, and they'll help get you there. Right. Right? All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is our speaker lineup for convention. I don't know if we've put all of this in one place all at the same time, and I'm super excited that we have this opportunity today. So after the 7th, we go 8th, 9th, and 10th, and we've got speakers. Look at this lineup of speakers. I, I'm just... One of, I'm going to tell you one of these speakers is a $3,500 day speaker. Mm -hmm. and she's coming to us for far less than that. Oh, way less. And um, and the two I'm most excited about tell me. are not the $3,500 speaker. Really? Yeah. So who are you most excited about and why? Well. I want to know. I'm going to put I, us in the corner. Okay, are, you, are we getting to go in the corner? There we are. Okay. okay. That's cool. That is cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's so, go lower third. Yeah. It's, okay. So, picture in picture. Uh, I'm excited about Tom Cheswick. Okay. And Phil White's classes together. Interesting. Yeah. So posing for groups is something. Posing for groups is hard. It's hard. It's so just like shooting a family only bigger, right? Oh, geez. Yeah. I mean, it's, but instead of five people to control, you got. So I hate, I hate photographing groups so much that I created my own product around yeah. that <laughs> called Groups by Composite. And I just, anyway. So this is a great lineup. We've got, I don't need to read the names. You can see the names. I'm excited about Mike Collins teaching his Photoshop class. He was here yesterday for a couple of hours. Um, one of the things that's been really great uh, about this period of time that I've been not feeling great is that I've had some, some great friends. You came and saw me in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And um, Mike Collins was here yesterday for a couple hours until it looked like I was fading. I could tell. Um, he was watching me. He was like, I think it's time for me to go. I'm like, I don't know, you know that's, uh, so what that, you're talking about. Uh, dude, dude, when you were going, when you were, no, no, I got oh, no. I to I tell, oh, I gotta, I gotta tell you you guys his stories so, real quick. This I know, we're gonna, running out of time. I know, right. We're not, we're not out of time. Okay. We've got time. Anyway, so Bob's going under the knife. I mean, he's literally, he's. He's in the hospital. He's had the ambulance ride. He's down in Boise, and he literally they're ready to, like, into the room so that he's got quite a bit of drugs in him. Yeah, I'm loaded. So man. he's so Gordon and Bob and I have a a three way ch chat. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I Bob's, texted you guys. Bob, yeah. Oh, it was funny. It was so, gibberish. <laughs> you should <laughs> you should see the text. It starts out with words, and then. Fades into Russian, literally. <laughs> it's like nobody, nobody knows. <laughs> it was hilarious. I was laughing. I, I, uh, I, I, I was literally rushed to the hospital by ambulance, and the doctor. So all of the nerves in my lumbar, my my like L L three, L four, L five, and sacrum, they were all crushed, and um, they're like, "You need emergency surgery," and I'm like, "Delauded." Put the delauded in. <laughs> And um, which they did in, in uh, Wee! plentifully um, <laughs> because all of the nerves in my spine were crushed and things were bad for me. But anyway, I did try and <laughs> you're the second person who's mentioned that to me in two days. Uh -huh. I might have texted, a, a, at least I wasn't shopping. No, you <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just thought, here's Bob trying to keep it together. And when you're under that stuff, you, you're not keeping anything together. So, you know? um, So during that time, I literally, so I'm going to tell you something that I did. I'm really proud of. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And yeah, thanks, Andrea. She's laughing. Andrea's here, by the way. That's exciting. Let's turn this on. And I'm going to go, um, bah, ah, 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 ah. laugh out loud. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, this was, oh, and Laquita has a question. Are we supposed to bring a camera convention? Heck yeah. You can, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, I didn't take, well, that's not true. I took a film camera. To Imaging USA. To so, 
I guess to answer your question is we're, we're doing this via, this is going to be recorded. So, right. Because we got the, we have the, uh, off premise folks that want to see it. Yeah. It will be. And so that the, the zoom portion will be recorded, but, uh, this is kind of selfish Laquita, but if you take your camera and shoot some good candidates, we would always like to use those on our, our websites Heck yeah. and stuff. So. so you know what? I find that a lot of folks bring their cameras to photographic conventions. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring a camera kit to Imaging USA. I brought I brought a film camera to, to photograph the monuments on a tour in Washington, D.C. And I shot like film that was expired by a long time. Anyway, bring your camera if you want. You know what? Bring your camera. You can always... If you have questions about your yeah, camera, exactly. your, I mean, there's yeah. just so many great reasons I, to bring your camera. I'm going to be all all of my all of my gear is there because I'm doing the live stream. Anyway, bring your camera. I think that's a great idea. So I want to come back to this. I did something really cool. Okay. Okay. So my wife and I. This is our 24th year of marriage, and um, so we're coming up on our 24th anniversary. We have spent a lot of um, celebratory days and nights <laughs> in hospitals over this last quarter century. And I was to be damned if I was gonna let Valentine's Day go. So I called two of my wife's besties, I texted them, and I said, $100 budget, I need you to go to my house and Valentine's the house while my wife is here during my surgery. Well, they wouldn't let my wife in during the surgery, so she never left. And they showed up with wine and chocolate and, <laughs> and, and party stuff, and they, and they had Valentine's here at the house while I was under the knife. But I I felt so good that I like I did this I didn't blow Valentine's Day, man. Yeah. And if I he, was And he was out. I, I was having a hard time, yeah. right? Um Laquita, she says, uh, I'll bring it. Does that come up? Yeah, I'll bring it. I love doing candids. Andrea, you convinced me. Oh my goodness. Wait, 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 wait. Laquita, you're coming to convention? Yeah. Yes, that's exciting. She, yeah, yeah. She's that's gone. exciting. Um, all right, so that's good stuff. They must be. Oh, so let's see. Laquita, Andrea had said, I'm trying to keep up with all this, right? <laughs> Laquita, she says, Andrea says, Laquita, yes, I brought mine last year and so happy that I did. Um, bring your cameras. That's, yeah. that's a great, I mean, it's, it's and, all and photography nerds, right? If you have a question you want to ask one of us, you don't see us like every other week or whatever, and you're there and we're there and, and not me or Bob, but jen or sam or phil or whoever a anybody ask them yeah good stuff <clears throat> good stuff i am loving having your comments and i want you to tell me if you like seeing them on the feed um because that's i've literally been working on that technology since december i'm kind of excited about it i'm having a little bit of a struggle to keep up with it uh, but I'm, I'm still learning how to do it live this is actually my first opportunity to employ it I think you're, and see it rolling. But I it's think, really fun. I think you're doing um, fine. I'm going to come back to um, our rundown. Your phone is blown up. Is, like, is that your work? Yeah. All right. So uh, we covered convention speakers and topics. Um, we have all the way through the announcements, and it only took us 40 minutes. That's not bad. That's I, not bad. I, I want to, uh, before we do push. Okay. I want to throw one thing out there. Yeah, so, this is your opportunity. We, yeah, okay, good. Yeah. This is, uh, <laughs> so we've talked, we've talked, and we've talked, and we've talked, and we've talked, talk, about the best camera you have is the one you have with you, right? Mm -hmm. And you know me that I have been on a huge weight reduction kick in the camera gear department. Yeah. Okay, like massive. It's like slimming his waistline, but it's his camera bag. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, I'm about ready to go on a trip. Where are you going? Uh, okay. We're, we're going to go to Hawaii. You're going to Hawaii. Great. Yeah. So I'm taking my puny ass little... M5? Mm -hmm. Mark II? Mm -hmm. That's going to be awesome. So I have this kit. So when I come back and after a convention and maybe one of these programs... Well, just like we did our the African Safari with Mike. Yeah, I just let's, I want I want to throw them on there. I mean, and now this will be this will be a sub. Uh, well, it's not really a sub five hundred dollar camera. It it's a five hundred it's a five hundred plus dollar camera, but sub six hundred dollar camera. And I think the most expensive lens I have in this kit is three hundred and forty nine dollars. 
That's the most expensive one. So I want to come back and I want to show people that you can take some pretty darn great pictures with, with consumer equipment. Exactly. It's not this is and this is my I'm just going to prove it to you that these could be I'm not in the market for like like landscape wall art, but these probably will be landscape wall art caliber pictures. Cool. So um, so in response, Andrea says, see, now I didn't do that right now. Now I want that to go away. All right, we'll, we'll put it up. Very cool. <laughs> I feel very important when my words come across the screen. Bob, you amaze. I lost it. Something. <laughs> uh, you amaze me with tech wizardry. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. And so on the screen that we're looking at, every, oh. uh, every multi-view window has a tag in it telling you what you're seeing. And then Tom, Tom Cheswick is yeah. here. Tom Cheswick, hi. He says, bring a camera. <clears throat> Saturday night, we have a hands-on workshop that attendees get to shoot. Awesome. Awesome. Bring your camera, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's so, this is cool, man. I'm loving this. Um, oh, definitely like the fancy. That didn't even come up yet. There it is. Oh, my gosh. Definitely There's like the lag. fancy. There's a lag there. there well, the, there is a lag there because it's going through, like, the whole interwebs thing. Um so what, definitely like the fancy. Wizard. I think Kimberly is saying that she likes the fancy graphics oh, coming up. Yeah. And um, I got to tell you, there's a guy named John Baker. Uh, this is his program, and this is something that he's been developing. And uh, he's overseas in Europe somewhere, and he's he is so smart. And his program, I just want to give him credit. This is uh, this is using something called here. Uh, his his YouTube channel is here to record. This is his H2R graphics application that we're doing this with an API hook into the YouTube chat. So that's where the delay is coming in, is that API hook. Um, Laquita says, Tom, that sounds super fun. This is just shout, a- shout out, to, shout out to, real quick, to uh, Luminar. Luminar is built in Ukraine. The whole team is over there. They are still up and operating. No kidding. And so I do use Luminar and uh, just uh, hope those guys, you know, stay safe and yeah. uh, hope we get through this nonsense, so. <sighs> well, it's crazy, isn't yep. it? Crazy. All right, so let's come back. Um, anyway, Tom, excited that you're uh, on the program, and thanks for the comment. Yeah, that's very cool. Um, I don't know if you were wrong when I said that uh, I was excited about seeing your program and <laughs> Phil's program, but I'm going to throw that back out there again. So Yeah, that's very cool. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to knock that down. I'm going to bring this back. I just want to at least we should do this. mention this. Yeah. Um, so we normally wrap right about now. Um, let's take maybe seven or eight more minutes. If you folks will hang on with us, we're going to wrap by noon. See what but I did there? My math sucks, right? <laughs> but um, but I want to I want to talk about um, technically you were correct. And, and there's more comments coming in, but I want to <laughs> I want to come into I want to come into push here for a minute. Um, this topic is important because um, a lot of times you might be and let's just drop back to us now. You yeah. so you know the topic is push and this idea that. Um, that just because the door closed on you doesn't mean that it's locked. It's not dead bolted. That you don't have to, you don't have to get a battering ram for the damn thing. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to tell a story about a gentle push. All right. I had a client that I was very very fond of, but my gatekeeper there left in 2019, and the work evaporated with this client. And that stinks, right? So I'm seeing their projects, and I'm and I'm thinking I'm not. I'm not still working with these folks, and I hate losing clients. Um, I didn't do anything wrong to lose the client. Just my person there, my contact there left. So um, over the course of the last, uh, well, probably two years, I've been courting every one of their employees that I run into. And that just means having conversations, meaningful conversations. Hey, you know that picture of such and such that's in your office? That's one of mine. In fact, they made canvases out of a whole bunch of my commercial projects, and they and that's what they did for artwork in their office. And that feels that's amazing, right? Um, so, I was at a networking event. Actually, I was I was doing Frogger across uh, Overland Road because I was uh, I was delivering uh, volume oh, pictures okay. to the volleyball team that was at Wahoo's having a party. And I was also attending a networking event that was across the street at Horizon Credit Union, right? So I'm doing Frogger across the road, <laughs> trying to manage, keep those balls in the air, right? And um, I'm, I'm in this networking room, and I'm standing with a small group of people uh, that, I, that I've known for a long time. And 
in comes one of the owners of this company that I used to work for. And she glances the room, like most people do, and she eyeballs me, and she beelines straight for me. And she's like, Bob, great to see you. I'm like, wow, she knows my name, <laughs> right? So I'm excited that A, Mandy knows my name. And, uh, and B, she's like, man, it's been a while since we've, we've had you shoot any of our projects. And we just finished a really great restaurant over on Eagle Road called Land Ocean. And uh, I think I'd like to get you in there uh, for that. So anyway, I'm, I'm in the process now of bidding that project. But I've been gently pushing. You're reading comments? Yeah. I'm going to come back to that. Okay. Um, I've been gently pushing for two years. I've mm -hmm. been gently pushing since 2019. Let's come back. We can hide that. No, Push. no, that's okay. Keep going. No, that was the story. Oh. In its nutshell. Um, oh, I see what we got. Uh, my wife is looking forward to your pictures of Hawaii. Um, let's turn that on, right? So I was supposed to stand as best man for my, my lifetime best yeah. friend in Hawaii uh, shortly after I had my spine tuned up. Um, so we didn't get to do Hawaii. And, um, Dude, you had your spine taken out, wrapped up, and then put back. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was a thing. So um, so she's looking forward to seeing your Hawaii pics. Um, and Tom uh, says, thanks, looking forward to seeing everyone in person. And Tom, I don't know if I've ever met you, so I'm looking forward to that. I know, That's I, know a great I, opportunity. I, I haven't. That's a great opportunity. Yep. Um, so that was my push story, and um, I'm going to come back to push here. I just have to figure out what buttons to push. There's a couple, right? Just to put the, the splash up there uh, one more time. The push concept is that you're just, and we've kind of talked about this before, about staying in the game. We had a staying in the game episode where just because a client, just because a client calls you and says, hey, I need your pricing, doesn't mean that they're ready to book you for a job. Right. They just need to know for reference, how much is it going to cost me to budget for this project for next year? Exactly. Especially commercial, because they can't, yeah. they can't, you know, Bob's in a different, in your commercial work, you're in a different Yeah, it's a different, it's a different realm. A lot of the times, like seniors, there's a timeline, right? You know, your daughter's son's going to be a senior, right? A family portrait, okay, I got to my daughter's going to go to college next year. We're not going to be together. There's going to be a timeline on that. Yep. And and mom and dad can figure that one out. But when you're working with commercial, there's a budget involved almost all the time. Yep. And, uh, you know, they're going to say, gosh, we need these headshots. How much is it going to cost? And that's what he's talking about. That doesn't mean that they're not, if they don't say yes right away, that you should just ignore that because you need to, you need to reconnect. Yeah, I mean, so... So I will often ask a contact, if I'm feeling that kind of cold shoulder-ish, you know what I'm talking about mm -hmm. there, you're having a communication, then it starts to get a cool feel to it. Evolve what you had for lunch, yeah. Um, I might ask that person, hey, do you mind if I follow up with you in a couple of weeks? Sure. Or, hey, what's your timeline? Do you mind if I follow up with you in January? Um, I did a ton of that following up a January thing in, in, the, in the late fall and early winter, I had people booking me like crazy and I couldn't keep up. So I would just simply say to the client, hey, is this something that we can do in, in the first quarter? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then sometimes most of those clients would be like, oh, that's a huge relief. Yeah, let's do this in January. Let's do this in February. That's not a closed door, man. That's a follow up in January because you're going to do the work in February. Right. Right. Um, I'm just playing a couple of really cool things that I've got going on here uh, while we're chatting out. I, I think we need to wrap it. I think we need to kind of wind up where we are. But uh, it's been really fun. One last thing that we're gonna, I'm gonna put once Lindsay expires here in a few seconds. Um, this is our YouTube channel. We now have uh, in excess of 60 live episodes that you can go back and watch. Please, and, please don't watch the ones where I'm dark and orange. <laughs> Let's just don't do that one. They're on there. Yeah. Um, I actually was in the YouTube channel this last week. I'm going to put this up again. Um, I, this, I'm not begging. I just I want you to like our channel, and I want you to subscribe to our channel so you're seeing our content. Um, we're going to continue to push more content into this channel. Um, we have testimonials. There's a playlist for testimonials. There's a playlist for Fall Retreat. If you were at Fall Retreat, there's some great stuff there. Uh, if you missed Jen's presentation on video, you missed something yeah. amazing. And it's well, there if you were at Fall Retreat. 
I'll send you a link for it. It's in the YouTube channel. It's if, if you are at Fall Retreat, uh, all those vi- I mean, you can access all, all of those, those videos. videos. And um, Mia's presentation and the the drone presentation and the video presentation. Yeah, were, uh, great we, stuff. We, Not optimum circumstances for no, making was, video. It was horrible. We were outside yeah. in a pavilion yeah. with the wind blowing and cars going by. But, um, but, there's, <laughs> Here's but, but Here's my point is this. Um, Two years ago, we had a YouTube channel with literally nothing on it. Right. And now we have a YouTube channel. If if you have a question about something, um, lots of times business related, lots of times business attitude related, there's probably a conversation that we've had on our YouTube channel that you could go back and watch. And you know what? I do. I love to rewatch our episodes. Yeah. Because I pull stuff out of it, um, how we can improve, and sometimes comments that, that you said while I was tinkering with the buttons. Um, but I put it on like one and a quarter speed, and I get through it just a little faster, but I don't sound like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Yet. Or the chipmunks, right? <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's always a, a great thing uh, to do. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll hit it one more time. This lower thirds thing is pretty fun. Ah. Um, I'm having a good time. I do have another graphic that I want to throw in here if I still have it in my rundown. Yep. And no, I didn't put it there, so that's okay. You know where it is? It's right here, and yep. I can bring it in. I'm going to bring that up. It's MP2, and I'm going to have you close this out with this. All right. And then we'll say sayonara, okay? All right. Hey, thanks, everyone, for joining us today. Listen, if you want to join us and you want to be a part of the community, we'd love to have you, and it's very simple to do, ppofidaho.com. There is a huge Join Us button right underneath the the banner. You can't miss it. Just click on that. This is another deal. It's 99 bucks a year to join, or... You can join for $9.99 a month, and we do ask for a 12-month commitment on the $9.99 a month. But uh, if you want to you know, lay out $100 bucks all year long, <clears throat> we have some great times, and we have I know that we have some fantastic stuff coming up this next year. Um, we have, we've already made dates for stuff. I'm not going to tell you yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, we can't launch that yet, yep. but there's... And, uh, we, you're going to be excited. Yeah, and we also have uh, several ideas that we're gonna have to pare down the list because um otherwise so many great things going well we'd be doing stuff every month i mean literally if we if we don't wrong with that we just have a small team well but the deal is we're most of us are working that's (laughs) true all right so let's leave it there (laughs) yep uh hit that ppi uh pp of idaho.com hit the join us button pay your 10 bucks a month pay your 100 bucks a year and and become a member and support this organization support the ongoing content here on the youtube channel uh with your like and subscribe and then we're going to see you Hopefully at convention. Yep. All right. See you later. Thanks. Bye. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this.